Hi, <coughs> welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information, you can log on to www.jcbrolabs.org. Many times in our project, we need to convert some text into a speech. Uh, so in this particular video, uh, we will learn how to convert a written text into a speech using MATLAB. So open MATLAB. In uh, MATLAB, first we take the user input from the user and that can be done like uh, we are uh, assigning into a variable a is equals to input then uh, uh, enter your string whatever you want to listen and that uh, this enter is of a string type so this s needs to be put there and then enter so it will ask for a string like hello uh, let's do a small change into it uh, we want to show the input string from the next line now it's fine uh, so this is enter your string okay hi this is So this is a string which we have assigned. Now we need to create an object for system uh, space synthesis type. So we will create object is equals to system dot speech dot This object will create it. Actually, what is what it is doing? It is using the pre-built uh, speech synthesizer of Microsoft Windows, and uh, MATLAB is being used to activate or to trigger that speech synthesizer Microsoft Windows. And whatever text we have written, that will be converted into speech from and that only. So, <coughs> as we can see, the volume of this object is already is 100. So we need to assign uh, a volume. Or if you uh, heard about uh, in a large sound, then you can make this volume even larger. So uh, we can put the volume. We can change the volume of the object from this object dot volume. So let's say we are putting it 150. Okay, it's cannot be greater than 100. So object dot volume. Equals to 80. Now, in order to listen it, just type command speak and the object which you have created and the variable. That's it. And I think you may not be able to hear the sound because I am using the headphone for listening it. But uh, if you try it uh, in, on your laptops or on your desktop in MATLAB, then surely you will be uh, able to hear the sound. So we can also change, let's change this speed to uh, volume to 100 and let's run it again. So it's cool and you can use this technique in some of your projects where speech recognition or some uh, other kind of the things are necessary like to give the command to the user which is accessing the particular code or something else. So you can use it very well. I hope you have enjoyed this video. We will be coming up next with more interesting video next time. Till then.